Today, I'm sharing a fun and meaningful way to speak life over people using their birthdays and scripture. So this is not only a wonderful way to bless others, but it's also a beautiful opportunity to spend time with God as you seek out the verses. Hey there, friend. Welcome to Beneath the Fig Tree. I'm Rose, and I'm so glad you're here, like, really a lot. And can I tell you something? We all know that reading the Bible and prayer, they're so important. They're non-negotiable even. But I also believe that there's so much more to a great devotion life than the, quote, perfect quiet time that we've all been taught about. I want to give you permission to lay down the guilt and the shame about what your devotional life looks like now compared to what you think it should look like and discover how you best relate with God so that you can cultivate a devotional life that you love and look forward to. Around here, I'll share loads of tools, lots of inspiration, and tons of encouragement, all to help you cultivate the kind of meaningful relationship with God that you've always longed for, but you just didn't know how to make it happen. So, you ready to breathe new life into your devotional journey? Grab a cup of friend and let's chat. In our last episode, we talked about the power of declaring God's promises over our lives. And today we're going to build on that foundation with a fun and actionable way to speak life over people using their birthdays to look up scripture. So this is not only a wonderful way to bless others, but it's also a beautiful opportunity to spend time with God as you seek out these verses. So here's how it works. First, And this is going to make total sense. We're going to ask God for guidance. We're going to start by praying and asking God to lead you to the right verse for the person that you're thinking about. So this intentional prayer time, it's a meaningful way to connect with God and to invite his presence into your process. And then second, you're going to look up the birthday. So take the person's birth date and then find a corresponding scripture reference. So for example, if your person's birthday is March 16th, 316, you might look up John 316 or any other verse 316 from any other book in the Bible. And then third, you're going to read and reflect. So as you find the verse, you just read it carefully and reflect on what it actually means. And then ask God to reveal how this verse applies to the person's life and how you can use it to encourage and uplift them. And then the fourth one, we're going to share the verse. So you can write it down in a card, you can send it a message, you can share it in person, or you can get a little bit more creative with it. If you paint or draw or use some other creative medium, then make some sort of small gift or token that features the verse. I'll actually share some examples of some of the ones that I've done over the years here in just a bit. And then Let the person know that you actually prayed for them and that you felt led to this verse for them. These personal touches can make the verse even more impactful and meaningful. And then five, you're going to spend time with God. So as you search for verses and reflect on their meanings, you're also spending quality time with God. This practice not only blesses others, but y'all, it enriches your own spiritual journey as well. Okay, so here's the first example of one I've done. My goddaughter's birthday is June 11th. So after praying and looking through different 611 verses and 611 verses, by the way, it's completely okay to move where that semicolon goes. I felt like God was pointing me to Ephesians 611. If you're familiar, that's actually the passage on the armor of God. And to be really honest, That didn't seem like a very birthday-ish kind of verse, so I just asked God to explain, and he did. Okay, so here's what I actually wrote to her with this verse. This year, when I thought about what God might want to say to you on your very special day, I decided to look up your birthday in Scripture, 611. 
Put on the full armor of God so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. Ephesians 6.11. Now, that didn't really seem like a birthday kind of message to me until God explained. There is one piece of armor not listed in the verses about the armor of God. It's the crown. God wants you to remember to also put on your crown. It is a symbol of your identity as a royal daughter of the king. And as his daughter, you have his favor, his blessing, his protection. Put on your crown, daughter of God, so that you can take your stand against the enemy's schemes to attack your identity. I gave this to her in the form of a letter that had her name beautifully scripted at the top, along with a simple faded turquoise crown. And I also gave her an actual necklace that had a simple crown pendant on it. And before you stress about not being creative, let me share a super easy tip. Canva. <laughs> Canva is free, it's easy to use, and it has all kinds of graphics and fonts and templates. And that's actually what I used. So again, go take a look at that. But the added gift of the necklace, it actually wasn't necessary. I just wanted her to have it as a daily reminder of her identity as a daughter of God. But just, just to ask Holy Spirit for ideas. He has lots of them and he will share. Okay, so here's another example that highlights how meaningful and simple this practice can be. My friend and coworker has a birthday on February 26th, or 226. And the verse God gave me for her was Acts 226. It says, No wonder my heart is glad and my tongue shouts his praises. My body rests in hope. She's actually a really joyful believer, and it fit her perfectly. And using purple watercolor, which is her favorite color, I scripted her name, and I wrote out the verse down below it. It was this super simple piece, and she loved it. In fact, it now hangs in her office. And when I gave it to her, she was so happy to see her name on it. She said that no one ever gives her gifts with her name. So the color, the verse, her name, it was all easy, and it was just a way to make it special for her. The point is, the whole process is spending time with God, praying, asking for guidance, searching through Scripture, deciding how to share the verse. All of it is a way of spending time with God. So the end result is a sweet and meaningful blessing for someone else. This simple practice can have a profound impact on bringing joy and encouragement to others while deepening your own faith. It's a beautiful way to weave God's word into our daily interactions and to remind each other of his promises. So grab your calendar and see who has a birthday coming up. I can't wait to hear about the amazing ways God speaks through you. So let's cultivate a devotional life you love, like really love. It is possible and it's easier than you think. Chat soon, friend.